proud grant to be Meghan Markle's mother Doria Ragland smiles as she arrives at her L.A. home after royal baby news. Doria Ragland yesterday released a statement, saying she was very happy about Meghan and Prince Harry's baby news. Meghan Markle's mother smiled outside her home today after it was announced she will become a grandmother. Doria Ragland was spotted in L.A. just hours after Meghan and Prince Harry announced they were expecting a baby. The 62-year-old yesterday released a statement after Kensington Palace confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have a baby in spring next year. It read, M's Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Royal sources have suggested the yoga instructor may move to London from the U.S. to help the newlyweds with their new arrival. It is understood she was seen taking baby care classes in Pasadena, California, with a view to looking after her new grandchild. Doria, wearing spotted mustard trousers and chunky platforms, kept silent as she arrived, but gave a small smile as she headed inside. The future Gran is understood to get along well with her son-in-law Prince Harry and the royal family. It comes after her former husband, Thomas Markle, said he believed Meghan would make a great mum. The 73-year-old said he was desperate to play a role in his grandchild's life. Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, have been inundated with messages of congratulations after it was announced yesterday they were expecting their first baby. In a statement, Kensington Palace confirmed, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The news was announced just hours after the couple landed in Australia for their 16-day whirlwind tour. The couple have already had a busy first day in Sydney, even given their first baby gift, a toy kangaroo. Meghan was given the plush toy by Governor General Sir Peter Cosgrove and his wife Lady Cosgrove. As she was given the gift, Meghan replied, Thank you so much. We are very excited. They were also given a pair of baby Uggs which Harry said was awesome. From the zoo, they caught a ferry to the opera house to watch a rehearsal by the Bangra Dance Company before a public walkabout. The Duke and Duchess will take on 76 engagements over just 16 days, including the Invictus Games in Sydney. The sporting event founded by Harry in 2014 gives sick and injured military personnel and veterans the opportunity to compete in sports. Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, lives in LA, and the Daily Mail and the Mirror are reporting that she's soon headed to England just in time for her daughter to give birth. Other outlets are reporting that she'll be attending Meghan's second shower, too. Doria and Meghan have long had a sweet, supportive relationship. So this makes sense. Doria might split her time between L.A. and Windsor, where Meghan and Harry now live. Doria is becoming an important part of the royal family behind the scenes, go here for that story. According to the Daily Mail, Doria Ragland is soon flying from L.A. to England to be with Meghan Markle as Meghan preps to deliver her first child with Prince Harry, any day now, hooray! According to Royal Insiders, Doria should be here for the birth and will be staying. But then she has to get back to her dogs and work. Doria and Meghan have a particularly close relationship, and it was rumored that Doria would be helping out with a new baby in the weeks following the birth, so it sounds like that rumor may be true. OK. Is also reporting that Doria is flying over to celebrate Meghan's second baby shower, which will likely be a much quieter affair than her star-studded New York shower. Meghan and Doria have managed to secretly spend some time together, most recently just after her New York baby shower. Doria didn't spend Christmas Day with the royals, and despite some rumors, she's apparently not about to go live with Meghan and Harry in their royal home permanently. But, apparently, she's planning on splitting her time between her home in L.A. and Frogmore Cottage, where Meghan and Harry recently moved. The last we saw Doria formally was at the wedding. Let's all remind ourselves how adorable she and Meghan were, because I can never get enough royal wedding photos, ever.